Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about all things trends on Instagram. How to find trends, how to know if it's a trend, um, you know, how to save them, to create them for yourself. So we're just gonna dive in deep on trends when it comes to Instagram Reels. And before we do that, I did wanna let you know that I actually have a free one hour class that just released all about how to grow your reach followers and customers with Reels. So if that's something that you want to tune into, go ahead and head to the link right below this video. And now let's go ahead Ahead and jump into first finding reels on trends. All right, so now I have my Instagram app pulled up right here and I'm essentially just going to show you like what I am thinking of when I am coming onto the app specifically to find trends that I might want to create for my Instagram reels. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is hit the little reels explore button. It's in the bottom of your screen right in the middle and it's like a little reels icon. So if you tap on that, it's gonna take you to to the Reels Explorer page, which is essentially reels from mostly people you don't follow. And you're able to just scroll and only view reels within the app. So when I am doing this, my process is essentially to just scroll, see what's happening, see what trends might be happening, what I might want to create. And I'm gonna give you a few insights into what might make something a trend. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap over into that, turn my volume up a little bit so you can hear what I am um, hearing when it comes to these trends. And let's go ahead, I'm gonna pull it up right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look through. Okay, so this looks like a photo dump. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save this because I haven't seen this before. I haven't really heard this sound before. And if we tap on the audio too, one thing that can actually tell you if a real sound audio or music is trending, see how there's a little arrow right below where it says his original audio, um, says Evergirl, Lover Girl or something like that. And then right below it says, has a little arrow like pointing up right next to where it says 21K Reels. And so that tells you that it's a new trend that is currently trending within Reels. And so if you're curious, like if you want to jump on trends that are more relevant or a little bit more new and fresh, this is a really good way to see that. So we just got lucky, the first one was a trending reel. And you can also, you know what, when we tapped on that audio, you can look through like different reels that have used that audio, see how people are using it. This one doesn't even look like it might be a specific trend. It's more that's just a trending sound. I don't think there's really a trend that I can tell. Well, this is into more photos too, like a photo dump. But then this is like a morning, aesthetic morning thing. These are like random videos. So I guess the idea is to share really fast like photos or videos of something. So yeah, this is gonna be a great trend to jump on. So I'm going, I saved the reel um, by tapping the little three dots and then I just hit save and that saves it into the save to that section of my Instagram. So let's go ahead, keep scrolling here. Oh, that's actually my reel I just posted. So we'll just keep scrolling. Oh, cute, okay. I don't think this is really a trend. Well, this sounds trending, but let's keep going here. Okay, that's cute. So I'm gonna tap on the audio. It looks like it's trending. And I just know from being on Reels, like this does show up quite a bit. And so I know it's a trend that's happening. So I'm just gonna save it. We'll keep scrolling here. So I'm just gonna keep scrolling through reels and like my goal is I wanna show you guys how you can also tell besides just seeing if the sound is trending, like if there's a specific trend, um, I'm gonna show you guys when I see a reel pop up multiple times and then I'm like, oh, that's a trend that's happening that I haven't seen before. And really doing this, like I usually for my own um, account, I usually am doing this maybe once every month. Like it's not something you have to do all the time, but if you're on Reels anyway, just for fun, like you'll take notice of the trends that are happening and if you've seen a trend before, how long it's been on there um, and all of that stuff. So let me just keep scrolling for a minute or so and I'll show you guys once I find an example when I see a sound multiple times and then that could trigger too, oh, this is a trend that's happening. Okay, so here's that same sound again we saw in that like first Reel we looked at. This is a really good indication. If we're seeing it again, 
that's a good indication this is probably like trending and I will tell you like I haven't heard that sound like I said earlier I haven't heard that sound before so regardless of whether it says trending like in the sound with that little arrow I know this is a new trend that's happening and something I might want to jump on if I want to jump on a more recent or relevant trend this is actually kind of cool because it tells you like how long so I'm gonna save that because it tells you how many photos and how long to make each of your photos. So if I wanna like edit this in InShot or something, I can easily do that. And I actually have a tutorial on my channel about that. So we'll link that down below too, if you want to check that out. I've actually seen this trend um, showing off our celebrity crushes and who we married multiple times, not only within reels, but also within, uh, people that I follow. And that's another way to find trends too. You don't always have to come in here. You can just use the time you're already spending on Instagram. If you're on Instagram for fun, if you follow people that you love, like other creators, you can just take note of what reels are they making? What sounds are they using? What are some new things that are happening? And so I already know, like I've seen multiple people do this. So I'm like, uh, it's a trend that's happening. If I wanted to do it, I could. I probably won't. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for me, but. Um, this one actually, I went back. This is a really good example of a trend that doesn't die, which is what I actually wanted to talk to you guys about next. So when you're thinking about finding trends on Instagram, one thing that I want to um, honestly encourage you with, I think that will be really encouraging for you as you're thinking about finding trends and coming up with ideas is that trends don't really die on reels. That last reel that I showed you, that sound, I know for a fact when reels came out literally over a year ago, it's like been a year and what, two or three months now, that that sound was really popular. And yet it's still being used in a reel that that person just created and got a bunch of traction on, right? So I really want to encourage you that while new trends can pop up and can totally pop up, most of the time those new trends are coming over from TikTok and not really like starting within reels, which is really interesting. And another thing too is that those trends tend to not die very much. And what I mean by that is for example, like there was this trend where you are like, uh, snapping and it was like a really popular travel trend where it's like da -da 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 um that was really bad but basically that like happened on TikTok probably three years ago and then on Reels a little over a year ago when it first came out and I saw a video literally like a month ago of someone who used that trend and their video blew up on Reels and you're like what in the world? Um, which is just crazy to think about. Cause it's like, yeah, like it literally was a, uh, was a video that they real trends that they created that happened forever ago. And so I really just wanted to point that out too. And that's why um, when I created, I have a shop product called 100 Plus Reels Ideas. I know a ton of you have grabbed it. If you haven't, we'll link that right down below too. It's all the links to all my products are always in my videos. But when I created that, I had so much confidence in creating that because while we do plan to go back and update it, you know, every few months with some trends that have been happening, I'm completely confident that all of those trends that I'm like sounds and audio and everything that I am linking in that download are going to be relevant even a year, two years from now, unless Reels drastically changes in the way that it works, which I don't think it's going to because I think the reason why trends don't die is because it's it's almost like a culture thing within TikTok that like if you were to post a trend that happened a year ago now, it's just, it, it's very irrelevant on the app versus on Reels, it seems to still be very relevant. And I think the reason for that is just the audience is different and the people who are on Instagram versus TikTok are different and what they enjoy and if they care whether or not a trend happened a year ago and now it's happening now. Or I think a lot of people on Instagram too aren't, viewing like trends or short form video enough to know if it was a trend that happened a year ago versus now, you know? And so I just wanted to mention that as like an encouragement if you're someone who is really worried about making sure you're always jumping on the very newest trend and making that a priority, I want you to slow down a little bit and know that you do not have to be jumping on the newest trend every single day. And I don't even do that and I can still see so much growth in my reels. And I typically film my reels about one day per month. 
And so that means that there might be new trends that pop up throughout the next month. And I'm still posting trends that start like originated at least a month and a half, two months ago, right? And so it doesn't mean you always have to be up to date on the newest trends. While new trends can give you lots of new ideas, right? And new things to create. It doesn't mean that that has to be number one in your strategy because at least from my experience and all the students that I've already helped, that's just not the case. Like it's not something that's a make or break, like whether or not your reels are going to do well. So thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, be sure to watch my free uh, class on reels. It's only an hour long and you can w watch the uh, class by uh, going, I'm like stumbling over my words really, really bad. Wow, this is really choppy. But you can go to the link below, below this video and you can join and watch the class instantly no matter where you are. We would love to see you in there. We have had a lot of students share about how amazing the class was that attended and I would love for you to um, experience the same light bulb moments. So thank you guys again for following along. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button on my channel. I upload a new video every single week on Tuesday at noon Eastern Standard Time. And the videos on this channel are all centered around using relevant content creation to grow your brand. And so yeah, if there's anything else you ever wanna see on my channel, of course, as always, drop a comment below. Any questions on any of this, always happy to answer for you guys. I always prioritize the comments on new videos, um, on the newest video that was posted for that week. And so I make that a priority in responding to your comments and all of that. So um, I'm here for you guys and I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys.